chief are continuing to go after chain store Walgreens, calling on them to do more to prevent shoplifting. Today, the chief sent a letter to Walgreens stating the crimes happening in its stores is a threat to the public and it's costing taxpayers a lot of money for police to respond. News 13's Annalisa Pardo reports on the changes the chief is demanding. Walgreens has to take ownership for their store, for their product, and they have to develop processes which help ensure that their alcohol is not being stolen and that it is not compounding to a community issue or problems surrounding their locations. 10 days after publicly giving that warning to Walgreens, APD Chief Harold Medina is now acting on those words. In a letter published today, the chief wrote to Walgreens district offices saying the crime at its stores is a major threat to the community. Also releasing this video of teens who police say stole alcohol from the store before fatally shooting a woman just last month. According to APD, since January of last year, APD has responded to a thousand calls at just five Walgreens along the central corridor. It says the location on Eubank has seen a 20% increase in calls for service in the last six months. APD says these calls for service alone has cost taxpayers $125,000. It is not the responsibility of the Albuquerque Police Department and the taxpayers of the city of Albuquerque to put an officer at every single Walgreens that sells alcohol. Chief Medina is asking Walgreens to step up, suggesting the store limit when liquor can be sold and how it's sold, like having customers place orders which employees fulfill, only giving the staff access to the liquor department. He also urges Walgreens to hire security guards and connect its cameras to APD's real-time crime centers so they can get surveillance video easier. Annalise Sapardo, KRQE, News 13. The chief is also encouraging Walgreens to implement a policy in which employees have to report alcohol theft and shoplifting to APD. Chief Medina released this video of two teenagers stealing alcohol from a Walgreens on the west side before a deadly shooting over a stolen car. He says the car's owner, 23-year-old Sydney Wilson, had tracked down her car using a GPS. Police say she confronted the group of intoxicated teens and 13-year-old Marcos Varela shot and killed Wilson. Neither of the teenagers in the Walgreens video are identified, so it's unknown if one of them is Barella. Chief Medina states in his letter to Walgreens, whether Wilson's murder was the result of an alcohol-fueled crime spree remains under investigation. You see this black box right here? 